Ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do for this example Oh, you're ready. Okay. So what I'd like to do for this example is, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to determine the value of x. Now, do we have in interior angles or exterior angles labeled here? Interior. interior, right? And we know that the sum, well, they're inside of the polygon. We know that the sum of interior angles, the sum of the addition of all of the angles is equal to n minus 2 times 180. Let's put it that way. Would you guys agree? That's what we did in our notes last time, right? Before lunch, that's what you guys wrote down, n minus 2 times 180. So therefore, remember where n represents the number of sides. So before I can solve this problem, I need to determine what are the number of sides. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, you, ought, you guys did write down what a hexagon, the degrees of a hexagon, but let's just figure out. So I'd do 6 minus 2 times 180, which equals 4 times 180. Right? It doesn't really matter where the parentheses. So 4 times 180 is 720. 720. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is this angle plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this equals 720 degrees. Does everybody see that? Hello. OK? So that equals 720 degrees. So now what we need to do is we simply are going to take each one of these angles and then add them up. So therefore, the first thing I'm going to take is x minus 4 plus my next angle, x plus 2, plus the next angle, x minus 8, plus my next angle, x plus 6, uh-oh, I'm running out of room, plus my next angle, x minus 3, plus my last angle, x plus 7. And that equals 720. I know it's kind of getting way to the end. But you got to see what this polygon, this um, polygon, all these interior angles are all adding up to give us the sum of the interior angles, which we learned before lunch was 720 degrees. You guys see what I did? I just took all the interior angles and added them up to equal, give us the sum of 720. Now what I need to do is I, can, I don't really need these parentheses because I'm adding them all up. So what I need to do now is combine my like terms. So Lauren, when I'm combining my like terms, what I like to do is I just like to combine the x's, right? Because those have the same variable factors. So we can combine them. So I'm just going to rewrite this equation with my, ver with my um, x's next to each other. So I have x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x, right? Well, x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x plus x is going to be 6x. And then I can now take my numbers that I have and combine those, because those are with variable factors as well. So therefore, I have minus 4 plus 2 minus 8 plus 6 minus 3 plus 7. So negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Minus 8 is negative 10. Plus 6 is negative 4. Minus 3 is negative 7. Plus 7 is 0. zero. Very good. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I now have an equation 6x equals 720. All right? So now I can solve for x, because that's exactly what the question is asking us. So I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. So x equals 120. Very good. And therefore, I figured it out. Any preguntas? Good. Questions? Sense? Label? All right, very good. So what I'd like you guys to do is you guys can leave that out if you like. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to have you guys